Venus has also played no small role in the development of physics. It was based on observations of Venus transits in the 18th to 19th centuries that the distance from Earth to the Sun was first calculated with high accuracy for that time. Edmund Halley proposed measuring how long it takes Venus's disk to cross the Sun from the most widely separated points on Earth. The difference in time gave the solar parallax, and from it they calculated the distance to the Sun, that is, the scale of the system. There was a leap in the accuracy of the value of one astronomical unit. A radio signal was bounced off Venus, and the round-trip time was measured. Knowing the speed of light, they directly determined the distance and, together with the ephemerides, refined it to one astronomical unit approximately 149,598,500 kilometers, with an error of plus or minus approximately 500 kilometers. At the same time, the reflection of radio waves from Venus's surface made it possible to measure the speed of light precisely under cosmic conditions. Finally, in 2012, the International Astronomical Union defined one astronomical unit as 149,597,870,700 meters. It is now simply a fixed length in SI. As in the case of Mercury, general relativity was also tested using Venus. In 1967, during the Mariner 5 mission, based on radio waves that passed by the Sun on their way to Venus, scientists recorded the gravitational slowing of light, the so-called Shapiro effect, when the travel time of a radio signal or light near a massive body increases due to the curvature of spacetime. 